what emerging trends do you foresee in elite coaching for the year 2024? Uh, are there any specific strategies or innovations that coaches should be prepared for in the coming year? Emerging trends, I think probably this year I noticed plyometrics were, were a emerging trend. Uh, I think in 2024, maybe it tends to go in roundabout, so we, we, things will pop up and then go back down and, and revolve around. I, think, I imagine agility, so true reactive, uh, reacting to a stimulus um, and being able to cut, drop step um, uh, eff effectively will be a um, care that coaches will want to be competent with and, and be able to confidently develop athletes with uh, for footballers. What challenges do you anticipate coaches will face in 2024 and how can they turn these challenges into opportunities for growth? I reckon the challenges will be um, being able to manage building, it seems like a lot more coaches now, especially younger ones developing in, in, and starting out into the industry, are uh, developing uh, their brand while also climbing the ladder of elite sport. Uh, if I think back to my career, uh, I wasn't on social media, so I wasn't really focusing too much on developing a brand up until the last two years where I've been in the industry for over a decade. So I think that can be a challenge where you're trying to develop a brand, educate, as well as um, get, your, get further um, progress in your career and get bigger opportunities in your career. So being able to manage those two things um, it would be a challenge. But the opportunity with that is that uh, building a brand earlier in your career is going to pay dividends for later on. So the earlier you start, um, as long as you can manage it and it's not taking away from your um, your primary role at whatever football club you're working at, um, will be a good thing. So just manage, I guess managing your time and prioritising uh, where you're spending your energy. How can coaches enhance athlete development in the upcoming year? Are there any new approaches or methodologies in training that coaches should be considering? I reckon view motion. So I've had a couple of um, meetings with Ryan Talbot about from um, using it from a like a pro point of view. That's something we're definitely interested in in 2024. So using artificial intelligence simply with the iPhone, the camera, and setting it up and looking at people's running gait and getting AI um, to give you their kinematics, the joint angles they're hitting uh, in key positions of the running cycle, as well as um, both from acceleration, sprinting, and change direction, deceleration, so all those four qualities. Um, so that's something that if I was a coach listening in, I would consider looking into using AI uh, to help with your coaching eye, with your testing battery, and being able to improve um, the efficiency and effectiveness of how uh, athletes are moving. Given the ever-evolving landscape of sports, how can coaches stay adaptable and responsive to changes in the industry? Uh, I think networking would be the biggest one for mine, so making sure you're keeping your finger on the pulse with those that you work have worked with in the past, um, staying in contact, getting on the phone, maybe when, after work, or, um, after a day is done, and, and um, yeah, staying connected with those that you work with, just asking questions, noting things down when they arise, challenges that you're facing. Um, yeah, not doing things on your own. So I think that would be the key um, in being able to, uh, one, get an, uh, an idea of how, where the industry is moving and the changes that are being made, but also, two, for your own development and being adaptable. In what uh, ways can coaches actively engage with the coaching community to share insights and experiences? Uh, well, conferences would be a great one. So the ASCA conference, anyone to that, um, it's a great opportunity to connect with the industry. Uh, I would say. I'm going to sh um, any short courses or workshops like Sports Map, as I mentioned. Uh, so, or the ASCA do like little online modules. I presented this year on the AFL, like AFL reconditioning role. Uh, I think we had about 60 turn up to those. So, although you're not really networking, it's a good way to upskill yourself for those online courses. Um, it's something that I'll be doing this year, uh, and there will be something I'll mention at the end of the show, but. Uh, doing discovery call with coaches for free where we'll catch up over Zoom and we'll discuss uh, where you want to be in six months, both from a strength and conditioning point of view for those developer coaches, but also if you have your own business, how to get that off its feet 